Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, welcome to uh, my run of Kirby's Dreamland. Um, so Kirby's Dreamland. Well, well, I guess well. First, I should explain. So I was just trying something with my uh, with my software to see if I could improve the quality of my videos. Uh, but I decided to do a quick test with Kirby's. Dreamland, because it's like okay, if it fails, mm, fine. But if it, but if it, but if what I was trying worked out, well, then I have something to upload for all of you. Anyway, so in Kirby's Dreamland, it's Kirby's very first game. He, for those of you who do not know, his very first game was on the Game Boy. I believe his next game would be Kirby's Adventure, and that would be on the NES. So that would that would then later be remade into Nightmare in Dreamland on the Game Boy Advance. So, with Kirby's Dreamland, you there is no copy of abilities. You just have you just have to inhale enemies and spit them back. Oh, and blocks and all that fun stuff. There's also some items that can help you out, as we'll see as we go through this. Now, if you remember from my Kirby Superstar Let's Play, when you do green greens, or what the hell was it called? Spring Breeze, thank you. Um, it was a it w it was literally an abridged version of this game. In this game, Kirby can jump, fly, inhale at the enemies. He does not have his slide, his slide kick. And you fly by uh, holding the up button or just pressing it repeatedly, just to, so you can control your ascent and descent. Yeah, you also cannot run. The speed you see in the game is the speed you get. And we have Wispy Woods. In this game, this is probably the easiest version of Wispy Woods. You just let his apples fall after he spits some air at you, or in your direction, but not at you. Um, and then you just spit his apples back at him when he when he has them drop it, and that's the end of him. Kirby will then, as you see, summon up his clones. And do a dance. Castle la 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 la. Anyway, here see here's the the microphone. You use it and it's like a screen nuke. And this is the bomb. You spit that out. As long as you keep following it, it would probably keep going. It'll take everything out that's in its path, except for maybe like Gordos. Some enemies you can't inhale, like these mummified heads. And we get our first uh, round with against Lolo before he decides to go that he needs to go and grab his wife. You know, I don't think I ever t typically go into this room. But I'm not, for how sh this game is short, like very short. So here's another of the power-ups: uh, the curry. The curry, as as as, mo uh, as most of you know, is an is an item you can use in the Smash Bros. games. This is where it originated from. But most of you knew that, so... These enemies are Waddle Dees, um, and I have no idea what the ghost enemies are actually called in this franchise. So here's the boss, Lolo and La La La. 
La 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 is the one with the bow just above me. Still above me. And la 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 is the bowless one. Their colors are typically. La 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 is blue, la 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 is red. Now they share a health bar, so they each take three hits apiece. Yeah, all they do is just push blocks from one side to the other. Hmm, the clouds in the background look like Kirby's breath. Dumbass. You think after that, seeing Kirby just hit screw, screw, screw it and ate the fishing rod too? So we have clams that can shoot beams at us. Fish with goggles. They must be distant relatives from another planet, from the ones you see in the in the in the Mario franchise. The Pronto Bird, which was which are those flies? I think the squids are called squidgies. Coconuts that are that have the power of a bomb. They stick some napalm in them. If that's the case, DDD's a jerk. Well, he is a jerk because the plot of this, like in Spring Breezes, he stole all the food in Dreamland. Stupid, uh, whatever they are. Here's a one up. Could always, always use some of those. Get some soda pop and a one up under the sea. Well, I guess under the pool, but. <laughs> Kirby gets stuck in a whale! How strong? How strong does that whale's? Uh, how strong is that whale to send Kirby into the freaking sky? Blow, with his blowhole. Anyways, here's a boss that is not in Spring Breeze. It does appear in the extra version of Spring Breeze, though, in Kirby Superstar DS. Or no, it's Kirby Superstar Ultra, which is a fantastic remake of the game. You just keep shooting the, you just keep shooting in the air at it. That power up, that leaf, that makes you fly in, in d d d d d d d definitely for a time. Except against that boss fight, it you'll fly forever until you beat that boss or die. That enemy that back there was a waddle do. Hmm. 
These are Scarfies. They're more explosive in this in this game than they are in most of the other games. Ow. Stop hitting me! That's one strong umbrella. Sir Kibble? Yeah, so Scarfies, when you make them angry, they'll transform and they'll chase you for a time, and then they'll just explode. Or they might, or sometimes, and, or sometimes they'll just give up. I don't think that's the case though in this game. I'll just leave. I'll just leave you guys be. Never mind. So despite my screw-ups and deaths, like I said, this game is incredibly easy. But then again, the Kirby games as a whole are designed to be e easy. Well, yeah, it is a good franchise if you want to ever try to get into the platforming genre. My first Kirby game I ever played was Kirby Superstar, I believe. Or it might have been a friend's copy of Return to Dream... No, not Return to Dreamland. Wow. Uh, dr uh, it was Dreamland 2. Alright, so here's cra here's the mini-boss, Krakow Jr. Yeah, literally just walk to the left. When he, ha when, he, when he wants to drop his bombs. Ah, the leaf. This is good. We need it. We need the health ups. I decided I wanted the other one. And so I guess that Maximum Tomatoes there in case you get pummeled while by the Gordos while you're trying to grab the pop. And Superstar in that one room we were just in, there was a Poppy Bros Jr. right there, typically. Alright, his name is Sir Ow now, everybody. We'll just take more of them. And here's the boss, Cracko. Don't worry, I've seemingly forgotten how to properly fight this guy when I was recording this in the in at the moment but I start to fit but I start to figure it out but mind you in his fights I noticed he can be pretty erratic blew up too clearly because he just disappeared when he hit me and so when I watch this round round of the fight I 
Because it's better when he does his dive attack to just, yeah, jump over him. Man, this round he's like way more... He's way more relaxed rather than being as aggressive as he was in the first round. I'm definitely not used to uh, boss fights being, like, changing their tactics. You know, changing their tactics up so radically. And that's Krakow. Now for the final stage of the game. Mount DDD. We just busted through the castle like the Kool-Aid man. So everybody, now that we've s we just saw all the bosses, how about we now do all the bosses in reverse? Go away, sir. Kibble. So, as you just saw, there was another Kirby there. You touch, you touch those in each of these, in each of these places, and you will get rid of all the enemies and the Gorda that blocks the door. Ow! Ow! Rude. And see now, look at this crackle. Like uh, round one, he's incredibly aggressive. Go away. Damn cloudy eyeball. Man, you're such an eyesore, Cracko. Shame on you. Ah, shame on you! And that's Cracko. Ow. Stupid C coconut. Got the Kirby, Gordo dies. I'm forgetting what this boss is named. Oh well. Ah, right on the top of my head. Everybody, Kirby now got a now has a he headache. Also, because this game is so short, um, it does not have a save feature. But I guess if we really needed one, you could just use the save state function on the Switch. So it was also it's also it was also available on the 3DS. So if you have it on there, I'm pretty sure you could do a save of sorts on that too. And there we go. That boss is dead. mask. Finally, we get to eat one of these broom dudes. Dope. 
crypto. You know, in hindsight, why don't, if I ended up grabbing them before I could spit it at them, why don't I just hang on to it until they popped in? There we go, one down. I'm willing to take the hit. Lolo Lolo and Lolo Lolo are down again. I think it's in Return to Dreamland you can do uh, the very first level of this game in these graphics as an extra stage in in that game. Anyway, Wispy Woods, round two. Oh, that time he did a little bit better trying to spit his breath at us. And there he goes. Alright, final boss of the game. King DDD. Hmm, DDD broke the conventional health bar limit before Ganondorf. Neat. In Tears of the Kingdom, yeah, his health bar just goes longer. When he transforms into his demon king form, his health bar just keeps going up. <laughs> So King DDD, in his debut game, which is obviously this one, uh, he was an antagonist. It was throughout the years where he gradually became a good guy and Kirby, one of Kirby's friends. And there you go. DDD's done. Yeah, I do recommend, for those of you who who play the franchise, if you haven't played this, I recommend you check it out. It's a very easy game. You can beat it at... Even like, if you're new to the franchise, I'd say you could probably beat it in about 40 minutes, ignoring if you get a game over or not. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this quick little run. I appreciate it if you're watching. And until then, you have yourselves a great one. Until next time, you all take care.